You're my queen from Boston. Survive on the key from Boston. Survive here. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here. I feel like that was like a really enthusiastic intro. <laughs> anyway, Straight Outta Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we're getting this gameplay started out with a T-Jack system. And anyway, uh, today we have episode four of the Jeff Samarja Connected Career Mode. And uh, you saw one T-Jack sits in there, and now you can see Jackson dropping Max thrown to the other side of the field, and T-Jack system. Anyway, um, so just want to let you guys know that. Uh, I'm back from the Cape. I was away for the weekend, and I wasn't even able to put out a video on Monday just because I was chilling with friends for most of the day, but I did live stream, and uh, I want to say thanks to everyone who came over from Bafe's channel, who saw my uh, Manu Mirrors episode on that uh, channel, on Bafe's channel. Uh, thanks to everyone who came over and subscribed. I really appreciate it, and um, hopefully we'll enjoy the content. And also, I wanted to say that if you guys did not see my channel update earlier today, I highly recommend watching that. Um, it's very important that you do, just because it'll let you guys know kind of what my upload schedule is going to be like in the coming, well, I guess, you know, for the next couple of months, really, just because um, go I'm going back to school tomorrow, Wednesday, September 5th, and I know most of you guys are back already, but um, in Massachusetts or just in New England in general, I usually go back a lot later than most, um, partially to do with the weather and stuff like that, but and now we get into the gameplay here. The 5-3 Seattle Seahawks going up against the Minnesota Vikings here. Tied 10-10 um, in the second quarter. Samarja just went off this game. You'll see, uh, I'll tell you his ending stats once the game is over, but he's just going to absolutely go off. See, catching this ball, running it down the left sideline, and number 22 is not going to be able to catch up to him. So that's a huge touchdown for Jeff Samarja. Tavar making Tavares Jackson look good, to be quite honest. Not too easy to do, but uh, somehow... Samarja's getting it done. You can see Antoine Winfield there, the Wiley veteran from the Minnesota Vikings. But Samarja cutting across the middle here. He's going to pick up the first down on this catch. Eight receptions for 202 yards so far. You can see Tavares Jackson with another Tavares Jackson-like performance, completing 46% of his passes. But he's going to hit Samarja again here, and Samarja breaks the tackle. Can he go all the way? He's got some speedy Vikings behind him, and he is going to go all the way. His third touchdown of the game, Jeff Samarja. And now, wrapping this game up here, 27-22, to T-Jack system. Anyway, <laughs> Bowman with the interception. And uh, this would actually put them in pretty good range, uh, scoring range. They would fail to convert a two-point conversion, but it's 28-27 to now. The Seahawks need a touchdown or a field goal or some sort of points to uh, get on top. And you see here, that was his last reception, but we end up winning 34-28. to Final stats for him were 10 receptions for 279 yards, 3 touchdowns. Incredible game by Jeff Samarja. Um, I'm sure he probably broke a couple Seattle Seahawks records in there. And there, you can see the proof that I do play on all Madden on this. I think I'm going to start using uh, Bob Train's all Madden sliders. I know I'm going to try him out for my Tennessee Titans connected career mode. And I think I'm um, not next episode, but the episode after that, uh, which I believe will be the playoffs, are actually going to be... Um, the, uh, I'm going to try Bob Train's All Madden Sliders because regular All Madden is just a little bit too easy for me, I think. I don't mean to brag when I say that. I just, you know, kind of look and see what I'm doing here. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't mind getting outrageous stats in t jack system. Uh, I don't really mind getting outrageous stats for Samarja, but I, I would like to... And I, I would just like the Titans, um, you know, franchise to be a little bit more realistic. I uh, And I played Week 3... And immediately got it to a 17 nothing lead on the Detroit Lions. And I just was thought to myself, like, this is just not even fun, to be quite honest. But anyway, getting back into the gameplay here. We're going up against the uh, New York Jets. And you can see we already had one T-Jack system so far. If you guys don't know what a T-Jack system is, basically, um, it's, to, it's the Tavares Jackson special system. And look at this. We're not even on the field and it's a T-Jack system. Although it was Darrell Rivas. So that's kind of understandable. But if you guys don't know what the T-Jack system is, if you're new to the series, um... Basically, what a T-Jack system is, is it's these special shoes that Tavares Jackson wears that makes him such a shitty quarterback. And uh, I know we got traded in real life, but this uh, connected career mode was made before that trade. So he's, for some reason, starting for the Tennessee Titans. And, oh man, he sucks. And every time he throws an interception, it's what we like to call T-Jack system. You guys might have heard the Kobe system. You know, the five or six levels or whatever it is, the Kobe system. Well, you know, we, we have some things called T-Jack system, and, and, you know, really, like, all, ev you know, every single level of T-Jack system kind of involves interceptions. So, yeah, that's what the T-Jack system is. But now we're getting into a game against the uh, Miami Dolphins here, and we would just go off on the Dolphins. Samarja had a decent game. 
you know, I don't think anything is ever going to compare to that game he had against the Vikings, but, you know, he has a pretty big game here. Uh, Jackson, actually T-Jack, has, you know, a pretty big game himself, to be honest. You're going to see his stats there. Look at that. Two, two, was that two touchdowns and no interceptions? Oh, we just changed that. T-Jack system. Anyway, uh, so we're up 28-10 to 10 already. It's not even halftime. We're on pace for over 50 points. This is just looking like it's going to be a pretty big blowout, but... Anyway, Jackson dropping Meg is going to find us over the middle. And we're going to pick up a big chunky yard. Trying to get something going before the halftime. <coughs> and uh, now getting into uh, still the end of the second quarter. Uh, Jackson throws it to Samarja for another nice gain. Sorry, I was like slowing down there for a bit. But anyway, 20 to 10 still. Third quarter. Samarja cutting across the middle. Jukes that guy and he is gone. Jeff Samarja. For some reason, uh, you know, 31, whoever that is on the Dolphins, decided to not take the best route possible to try and cut off Samarja, but <coughs> I don't know if you guys saw the juke move from possession wide receiver, but that's uh, pretty, I'm not going to say impressive, I'm just going to say, um, I don't know, interesting or whatever, but, and we can see Jackson with 413 yards and four touchdowns, and our, we ourselves have a reception for 228 yards, I believe, but, hey, come on, it's T, he's wearing his T-Jacks, you're not going to get over it. Anyway, you know, we didn't really have to be passing the ball there, so you can blame me and my play calling on that one. But still 52 to 10. And what's going to happen on the very next play? Well, T Jack system. Well, not the very next play, but the very next offensive possession. And uh, yeah, got another T Jack system there. Intercepted. But anyway, we would win this game 52 to 10. And you're going to see once again the proof that we are playing on all Madden. All Madden difficulty. Cause, uh, you know, people don't like to believe me. But anyway. Get into a game against the Chicago Bears, week 13, last uh, episode, uh, last um, game of the episode. There was a bye week somewhere, I think it was like week uh, 10, I'm going to say, was the bye week. Or maybe it was week 9, I can't quite remember, but anyway. Uh, so we get in, into the gameplay here against the Chicago Bears and Soldier Field. This was definitely a tough matchup, the Bears really, uh, th their defense was stellar. And uh, you can see it's 10-3, to and there haven't really been any highlights for Samarja yet. But going across the middle here, he's going to pick up the first down and a bit more. About a gain of 15 yards or so. Trying to get something going before the half, but nothing would happen. And now already into the third quarter, 13-3. to And he's gonna, Jackson's going to hit Samarja, but it would not pick up the first down. Actually, did he drop that? I don't even know. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't quite tell. But anyway, going across the middle here, Samarja is going to get a huge chunk of yards. Trying to get his team back in the game. <clears throat> and you see there he's going to break the single season receiving record with 1,869 yards on the season. Pretty impressive by Jeff Samarja. Breaking records in his rookie year. Incredible. 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 But anyway, I know that was a, that was a tip, but come on. They, he was, it's T-Jack system. You know that's what the T-Jack system is, you know? There's the, you know, there's the tip interception. There's just like the straight up interception. Then there's like the, you know, receiver drops the ball interception. You know, different levels of the T-Jack system, so... Cutting across the middle there on that little money uh, play where you kind of cut left and then really quickly cut right and uh, works a lot of the time. But anyway, this gameplay is wrapping up pretty soon, so I'm just going to say it. Um, if you like the video, please do thumbs it up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, Madden 13, NCAA 13, stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm out. Peace.